I put on Facebook yesterday, and uh, that you know I'm interviewing you, and I mean my Facebook blows up, you know, and I mean you're a household name. Did you ever think in a million years that you would be where you are today? And how do you stay so humble? Well, <laughs> I that's I just appreciate the opportunity, and when you're given the opportunity, and I, I got into this in a weird way. There was a contest on Food Network called Next Food Network Star. I don't want to sign up for contests. I don't fill out forms. I don't wait in line. That's just not my gig. And my buddies pushed me into it. And I know the reason those sick... But the reason they did it, they wanted to see me go on TV and get my butt kicked. But I ended up winning, which was out of my mind. And um, I looked at it and I said, if I'm, if I'm given this opportunity, all I want to do is make people, just take care of people. Like being a chef and, and having a restaurant, I love making people happy. I love cooking for them. And so now gifted with this opportunity to, to go on TV, I got to do more with it than just, you know, put cars in the garage, which isn't a bad thing. But I got to do more and I got to give back and give thanks. And it's all because of the fans. And it's all because of the people that make it happen. So I'm just a representative of all the cool people that gave me the shot. Do you, do you, do you think it's because you are a cool chef? I mean, you look cool. I mean, there, there, there's nobody else like you out there. Yeah, this was a little bit of a mistake, actually. <laughs> well, tell us about I run that. into people that dress, you know, that look like me. They'll go do the show. Like, ah, I got the guy Fieri look. I'm like, bro, this wasn't intentional. All right, this just kind of happened. I had a mullet, and and then, like 15 years ago, and the girl that cuts my hair says, "That's got to come off." You know, Billy Ray is gone. You are not doing that. And I, I said, "Fine, do whatever you want." And she takes this the back of my hand. I go, "Are well, you going to wash that shampoo out?" And she goes. That's your new hair color. <laughs> Are you a critic everywhere you go? I mean, can you actually sit down and enjoy food? Or is everybody just wanting you to grade their meal that you eat anymore? I just want people to treat food with respect. It can be something as simple as a grilled cheese sandwich. Just do it the right way and, and treat it with respect. And use good quality ingredients. I mean, that's the other thing. And it's about quality, not quantity. I don't want all you can eat. I just want what you're going to give me to be dynamite. I love eating at people's houses. That's because that's where people really embrace it and, and really show what they're about and how they appreciate food. See, like when you bite into something and it's just like unctuous, man. It's just got it going on and you just, it, words come out that I don't even normally use, you know? And then I have to explain to the producer what it meant. Like, shut the front door, that's good. <laughs> and then as someone writes it and goes, you know what that really means, don't you? And I'm like, come on. Um, but if I say I dig it, if I say if I say it's great, it's great. If I say it's good, it's good. If I say if it's it's money, if there's a big head roll, but sometimes they do have to. Their eyes sometimes get like real big. Like, oh. Yeah, they, it's it's <laughs> sometimes they have to pull it out of my hands. Otherwise, I'll eat it and go into a food coma. You know when you eat too much, try doing three locations. Yeah, I was going to say, and you're actually you're in shape. Yeah, round is a shape. Thanks, man. That's, that's awesome. I'm trying to be positive. I mean, you can enjoy, go enjoy a hot dog or enjoy your indulgence. But on the other side of it, we got to get back to real food. We got to get back to cooking with our kids and teaching them what food's about. Teach them to appreciate food. If we're setting their palate to be processed foods at you know at restaurants where you can get two entrees for ten bucks, that's the wrong way to do this. If childhood diabetes, childhood obesity. And my, my foundation, we're working with, with the different states in the country. We've got four states right now that have adopted this program, CWK, Cooking with Kids. And they make one day a month, or one day a week, excuse me, um, designated by the legislator, legislation to be Cooking with Kids. Did you have to go through any, like, schooling or any classes to be the official pace car driver? Well, I had to go to, I had to, go to Miramar and go to the Top Gun class. <laughs> Driving that ZR1 is like a jet without Over wings. 200 miles per hour. Brother, Over 600 horsepower. I've never listen. I've gone fast, but that's a different fast. And with Johnny Rutherford, so Johnny and I get in. I come here. I show up seven in the morning, six thirty in the morning. I have to leave the JW, get here, get in the car. Johnny Day, Johnny Rutherford, home. Yeah, Johnny Rutherford. You know. So Jr. That's what I call him now. We text. No. Um, but Jr. and I go go for ride. We come out of pit row. He puts through pit row. He's in fourth gear. We're at a hundred. We're not even on the track yet. I'm just glued to the window as we as we rip through the course. He's like, first time, Indy. You know, if you could give these kids advice, because you are who you are, and they look up to you now. Stay hydrated today. <laughs> Sunscreen. <laughs> but just just in life in general, what kind of advice can you give these kids? Well, the, the most interesting thing that I think we're losing some perspective on is hard work. It is hard to do anything that you're going to be great at. 
No matter what you're going to do, I mean, you have to. People look and go, oh, you're a celebrity chef and you get to go everywhere and stuff. No, I work every day. And that's what it is. People for think that, you know, I'll go to school and I'll get my degree and I'll do my thing and then then it'll be mine. And, it, and, and the, the term that I use is entitled. This entitlement thing. You look at the men and women that serve our country and what they do. To, it's about a paycheck. It's not about a paycheck. It's about keeping us free. It's the same thing with law enforcement. You, know, you get these people that are putting in the extra effort. And that's really the best thing that I would say is if you're going to be great at it, you're going to have to, you just better plan on working really hard. Kids now play those video games. You're halfway through the game. You don't like your score. You've lost two men. Restart. <laughs> There's no restart. You know, and that's really kind of what's going on. And I'm not bagging on the younger generation because they're so smart. Oh, my gosh. Hunter is so wickedly smart. It, but it's it's that combination between being smart and really putting that backbone and really putting that effort into it. Hey, they're saying time's up. You like, uh, don't listen to them. Okay. What's up, bro? <laughs> That's what Tony Stewart says to me all the time. I get in trouble. How many cars do you have and what, what are they? I think I have 12 cars, maybe 13. I, don't, I lose track. Of, of where we're at in the car in the car race. I just don't have enough garage is what I don't have. But I've got um, 96 Impala Super Sport, 71 Big Block Chevelle, uh, 2011. No, it's not your Chevelle, Hunter. Hunter chimes in over here. My Chevelle. Hey, can, hey, can he come up here? Oh, yeah. Come on, Hunter. Come Bring on up. Up next come on, up here. Hunter. I didn't realize he was here. I'm sorry, guy. No asking no questions. No, I don't want to ask him no questions. Yeah, right. Hey, Hunter, come here. I got a question for you. Hunter is two, two months away from being How you doing, 16. Buddy? Good. Go ahead. What's it like to have a dad like this? Um, it's pretty cool. He's gone a lot, but we get to go on really fun trips and like Indy 500. So. Are you having fun? Oh yeah. I'm would you rather? Hey, would you rather be at the lake? Mm, no. <laughs> Good answer, kid. Let's give Hunter a big round of applause. All right, that's my wingman right there. That's awesome. They're telling me to wrap things up okay. because you have other things to do. Let's give it up for Guy. Yeah. Thank you, guys.